Today, we're going to go around to local breweries in Ottawa, Canada, and we're going to buy Simon some beer for Christmas. We got him a Christmas advent calendar, a beer calendar. We're gonna go around trying to find some unique beers. Hopefully, we can find some that he hasn't tasted. We'll take you on that tour. You don't mind if we film a little bit because we like the brewery and we want to talk. Oh, yeah, cool. We're gonna, we're gonna just do the crazy thing and just buy. Oh. We, have a, we have this uh, really idea for her husband, my girlfriend. We're building uh, advent calendar of 24 oh, beers. That's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. I, I couldn't. I have trouble finding them every year. So do you guys have one? We don't, unfortunately. Hockey beer. The hoppier, the better. Oh yeah. Hit. Her husband loves light beers, Belgian ales, wheat uh, beers. pilsners, wheat beers, those kind of things. Yeah. We have basically a smorgasbord of everything yeah. here. Yeah. So on um, some of the IPAs that are for you. So I thought uh, I really like my Lazy Brewers, my New England IPA right now. Nice. Um, or the Mustache Smash, the single malt, single hop. This is 40 IBU compared to 70 IBU, so okay. this is a little hoppier, yeah. a little bit fruitier though. Very cool. Um, on the lighter side, I've got my Session IPA. I've got a blonde ale. Um, and I have a raspberry leaf at the moment. <laughs> oh, that's oh good. he loves raspberry. Raspberry leaf, yeah. great. What's this Chipotle smoke? Is that the one you were talking about? Yeah, here? so I've got that one. These so it's two. the same base beer, but this yeah. one you've added a, uh, uh, a moonshine soaked Chipotle. So you get a nice kind of heat in the back of your mouth and a warm kind of going down your... Uh, I'm going to take one of both of these, the maple one and that. We're going to go buck wild. <laughs> I don't know how many of these are going to make it into the calendar now. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. <laughs> I cannot wait. Hello. Good, how are you? Great, that's awesome. We are um, gonna order some beer. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, they put us their order. This is a really nice place. We don't you, have you know to what go. I like the most about this place so far? Is that outdoor fireplace? Yeah. That is epic. Uh, an advent calendar. So for my girlfriend, I'm building an advent calendar. Uh, I'm going to get the Vienna lager. Yep. As well. And is that all the canned ones? Yeah, seasonal. So spicy Viking, there was only 70 bottles made. So what you see there is like the last. It's not coming back oh, wow. from the last. So if you like a spicy beer, grab yeah. it now. Uh, the ginger fruit is definitely a seasonal. That obviously only comes out around Christmas. Yeah. Martin is is somewhat seasonal. It takes so long to age that it just you just have to bide your time. And when oh. it's ready, it tells you, and then <laughs> it, it comes out, ready. and that's the season. Yeah. Oh, good man. Yeah. We need to go on that one, Mark. Much. We will. We will. <laughs> for me to get this beer in here. <laughs> here to go. Oh, it smells like pizza in here. What the F? I just want to be this one here. It's okay. our Kitty style, our Mexican style cerveza. Whoa. Um, right. feel like that's the best seller. It's um, what I like about it. It's not flavored for people who like kind of heavy stuff. Yeah. But still approachable enough for somebody who, like, if you drink most pain your whole life, that's still approachable enough for you, but it's still going to play somebody like this whole body. Oh. We don't have a, a wheat beer. The Polish is kind of a German style. Yes. Yeah, he likes German. Yeah. yeah, so it's a clean, crisp Polish. Um, and then on, on the lighter side as well. You know this is called an IPA? Yes, I've had this one before. Yeah, it's, it's, really it's, good. it's still light. Like, it's not that bitter beer that you normally associate with that case. More okay. kind of a lighter meat beer. It's an afternoon beer. Yeah. And then which ones are not in the LCBO? Like, all the ones that are, like, we can only get here. Everyone except these two. Beautiful. The yeah. name is amazing. Clothing of the Gods. Clothing of the Gods. Yeah. Well, can see, our brewmaster found that Clothing of the Gods, they were calling Clouds that. Yeah. And But he, he can't find that reference anywhere. 
So he wanted you to made it up one night. But... <laughs> so you gotta tell me because I was here once. They told me the Evergreen story. How you got the sign? I don't know. The how, they got the sign legally. Um, that, that, <laughs> that I do. Yeah, to yeah. make it clear. Yeah. Um, but we started on Evergreen Drive. Yeah. One of our roommates, Chris Samuel. One of his neighbors kind of knocked on the door, looked over his head. Then the guy he plays Tuesday Night Hockey with joined in. And yeah. As I say, a lot of money and a lot of time later, here we are. <laughs> thank you so hey, much. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so okay. we're looking to pick up some beers for my husband and his uh, girlfriend. So I would like anything that's light for the cans. For, for the cans. I'm afraid they don't actually have anything. Oh, you don't. You don't have, oh, you only do bottles. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up bottles anyway. Okay. I'm gonna try so a couple. Everything we do here is barrel aged sour beer. Uh, oh, so, uh, yeah, shoot. we've got seven fifties of everything on the menu, and then two of them also come in the three seventy five cents. Three seventy five. Damn. Where that'll fit in there. Do you think it'll fit? Is it we can sign? make it fit in there. Make it a little bit the whole lot. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a few anyway because I I would love it. So maybe maybe is that the size of a can or is it smaller? Um. So these are three seventy fives. A tall can I believe is normally four hundred something mils. So this should in theory fit. Um. I don't think I have anything under five percent, but that's fine. Under six percent right now, so you're not gonna be. Okay, that's right great. Now. Um, they are pretty intensely flavorful, but in terms of the ones that are maybe a little bit less intense at all, I'd probably recommend these two. Uh, this one comes in the small, this one's just the large, but it's a little more subdued in terms of sourness. It's really cool. nice. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see. If you like sort of like just bubbles and in color, the like color one, the Capital Apocalypse is really nice too. Very, very intensely pineapple. And that one does come in the small as well. Okay. Then I'll do those. Sure. Yeah, the small ones. We'll give it a try. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Enjoy it. Thank you. Hopefully these fit their bottles, but you know what? One you gotta do now. what you gotta do. Oh yeah, this is sick. We can actually try it right now. <laughs> do you want to? Sure. Well, you, you got it filmed. Oh. <gasps> oh! Oh, it does fit. <laughs> That's great. Success. <laughs> okay. For this is good. Do you mind if I film? Yeah, I don't mind. Cool. We're going to all the local birds today. Yeah, yeah we Built advent calendars. Oh, fun! Yeah. It's a, I guess it's a, it's a COVID Christmas thing. Yeah. We do have a happy bison, but it is, yeah, summertime seasonal. Um, light and crisp, we have our premium pilsner. Okay. And then it gets a bit darker from there, and then it goes the amber or the gold, and those are like crisp, clean. Not too hoppy. This is a Rattler, so it's a lot sweeter. It's almost like a grapefruit yeah. beer juice. Yeah, we had that one too. Yeah. And then this one here is a Scotch Ale, so it's like a strong beer. Have you had like a Carlsford Strong? It's yeah. kind of like that, but with like a malty, scotchy finish. Oh. Ah. Yeah. I have not seen that one so at the at either the beer store or the LCBO. Yeah, so. no, that one's just in here. Um, oh, cool. And then the new one that came out just yesterday is our Gingerbread Stout, but I'm not sure that's. Completely opposite. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I would like it, but I know that Simon would. And my girlfriend. So probably the premium for me. Yes, yes absolutely. And then and gold. And gold? Yeah. All right. And you don't want to? You don't think I should get that grapefruit one? Oh, yeah, the rattle. Yeah, you can get the rattle. Yeah, let's get yeah. the grapefruit. He likes grapefruit. He likes yeah. rattles. He's fed it. So that's, that's for you. That's for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we have our black IPA. Release mm -hmm. the hound. She's not a fan of the black. Not a black. Okay. Um, and then 
We already have the hazy yeah. and the disturber. Yep. Yeah. I think it's and that's okay. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Awesome. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. All right. Bye, Lee Greg. Simon knows Big Greg. I don't know if he's tried those. He probably has. Probably has. You're just buying everything, and I'm like, at not even half. Well, Simon's a little pickier, right? And when it comes to craft breweries, they're more about the uh, IPAs than they are uh, anything else. Just how it is. Okay. You talking? I'm talking. Who's talking? Can go first? Ooh, fancy. Wow. It's very Christmassy. Is this picture your <laughs> Look at their outside patio. It's really nice for it. I can imagine coming here in the summer and hanging yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Nice outside patio. Brewery in the back. The end. And then the end where you just drink it right from the top. <laughs> okay. So we're on a mission today. That's why we I'll might be at the little because no, no, we're we we built these advent calendars for a lot of Oh yeah. Um there's a list of what we have right now and then we also have um, a wheat beer that's not on the list. I would that's like to one. take that one. <laughs> yep, and then we have like spice beer, it's like a Christmas spice beer with nutmeg, cinnamon, and starry. <laughs> Yeah, so my husband likes wheat beers, light beers, not hoppy. Uh, that's pretty much it. That'll be it. For sure. And then we do have the Kolsch too, which is just like one step up from the... Yeah, let's try it. And how's the blonde? Which one, sorry? Uh, sorry, the blue, the one the blue. Sorry, the blue is actually an IPA. Oh. So it's like our hoppiest uh, citrus IPA. Absolutely. I'll pass on that. He's not much of an angel. <laughs> they have cream soda, ginger beer, and lime soda? Oh yes, I am definitely trying these. Yes, BC don't Light. We have uh, wheat beer on right now, but the BC Light is definitely our latest. Fantastic. And uh, if you go with the Heller and the Blonde, then you can stick with the non-hoppy beers. Okay. Otherwise, the this is somewhat hoppy, but it's an, it's an American pale ale. It combines the hops with the taste of a blonde, so it might be pretty good for you guys, but uh, All right. I would so, enjoy the other two. Okay. Okay, so I'll take the one the one the ones you recommended. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Oh, we did. Did you like it? We got another four. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it.
one of our stuff. We're happy that you're our host. You're better. You're the fourth one today. Oh, really? Last week I had about 10 people, but they wanted two more. So I think my fears aren't based on conspiracies. Yeah. So the stage landing is the fake moon landing. The little uh, things into our name. So when you first look at it, it looks normal. But a conspiracy is the more you dig into it, the more right. it's yeah. on. So. So a stage landing, they didn't land on the moon, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was done on a Hollywood. It was done on a Hollywood soundstage. So if you look closely at the label. Hey man, thanks for being okay. Thank you. Thanks. So you see uh, the stage hidden landing. Easter egg in there? Oh, the mask. Yeah, the reflection of the film crew. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> so you were in the MK Ultra project. Yep. So that's the CIA's brainwashing experiments. MK Ultra. Yeah. McGill University was funded by this program for really? a number of years. So oh, wow. the doctor there, he was doing more brain research, like schizophrenia, Parkinson's, uh, uh, Alzheimer's. Yeah. And he was doing the electroshock therapy, putting patients into comas and stuff like that. So a lot of his research went into the CIA. Oh, wow. That, that program funded a lot of universities and hospitals for this brainwashing. Oh, that's so this cool. This is a really cool Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, wait, Thanks. Do you mind if I record? Uh, sure. These are all the beers. If we can't find five in here that Simon would like, then you're in trouble. Then I'm not making the oven calendar anymore. <laughs> this shit is bananas. That's great. Get the fuck out. So we got like two of those right now. So yeah. we're kind of going for the lightest, heaviest side. Yeah. So on the far left hand side, the root of evil, which is a straight up lager, uh, crisp, smooth, crushable, a little bit of sweetness. Beside it, we have our OK Law Ginger Coriander, so that is a very unique beer, especially in the Ottawa area. So you get a little bit of a nice spiciness from ginger, and then it's got uh, some great lemon zest in the background from Excellent. the coriander, and so that is still a refreshing, easy going wow. beer. Wow, it's something that you can't get anywhere else, so we're totally Yeah, no one else <laughs> locally is making anything like that. That's awesome. That's uh, great. Yeah, you. and uh, then we're getting a little bit heavier, so we do have a few IPAs. Yep. Um, we have our uh, William Irish Red with 10% of the proceeds going to the local Legion. Mm -hmm. uh, our Nook Shook and Atomic Orange IPAs, which are flagships of ours. And then we got some big ones. We got the Black Sunshine uh, Barrel Age Schwartz Beer. Schwartz Beer. Schwartz Beer. Pardon me. Schwartz I'm beer. not German. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our Troublemaker, 10%, 100 IQ. Oh. And what came out yesterday, our Nog Hog. Hog. So a Eggnog White Stout. Eggnog White Stout. Well, I'm going to have to try it for myself, but I don't like So my girlfriend's in the office. Let's go. Yeah. Last hoppy beer. So I've had no problem finding stuff in my calendar. Yeah. She's had I'm just too. missing five, but I can only get these two <laughs> that he'll like, right? <laughs> All right, we got Simon three. Okay, so that got means two more left. <sighs> so now what then? Oh lord, oh lord. All right, we've decided to go to LCBO so we could stay within the Kanata region. Yeah, just so that we don't have to leave this area, and we only have two more beers to go. So we'll just head to LCBO, and then we have to head home because Logan's been alone for the past, what, four hours, no, three hours? No, it's We left at one o'clock. By the time we get home, so it's the longest he's ever been left alone and I don't know what kind of emotional damage I'm causing right now getting beer for Simon. Hopefully there's something cool that he's never seen that we could go ahead and get. Because I think with, with LCBO, he mostly just gets vodka. Yeah, he doesn't buy I beer think, at the LCBO. Yeah, so I think that there is a possibility we might be able to find some cool beer he hasn't tried. There you go. All right, we got two <laughs> fruity sour ones, I believe, to finish this adventurous day. Very adventurous. And make Simon's calendar just as freaking cool as Diane's. What I'll do is I'll cut back to December 1st and show you how it looks. All right, babe, are you ready? All right. Okay, turn around. Yes! Are you kidding me? <laughs> I've been waiting forever for this thing. I know, I know. You've oh, asked me you. oh. several years in a row, this and we awesome. finally did it. Woo! 25 beers. 
for 25 days till Christmas. Woo! Woo!